I'm gonna try and speed run this shit, dude. <gasps> no! What's up, dude? Into the Radius is on sale right now, 40% off on Steam. So if you don't own the game already, now would be the best time to go buy it. In the new 2.4 update, we got a ton of amazing improvements. We basically got the works, okay? We got new sound, blink locomotion, new guns, and a pretty nice performance boost. Except for one thing, and I think it is pretty important. Throughout all of the Into the Radius videos that I've made, I always see this one particular comment popping up. Why do the enemies suck? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, okay? I love the enemies that we currently have. But, I do think that some new additions would really help spice things up a bit. So, in this video, I'm going to take you guys through 5 enemies that I would really like to see in the future for Into the Radius. And as usual, I am also going to be playing some clips of me f***ing around. If you guys have any ideas for future Into the Radius enemies, leave it in the comment section, because I would love to hear about them. Anyways. Enjoy the video. Okay, now obviously all of these enemies would be matching the current black blob aesthetic. But first on the list is an idea that I've seen floating around in the Into the Radius community and in my video comments. Wolves. These guys would have blood curdling howls and would move around the radius in packs of three to five. Once they find you exploring, they will circle you from all sides and attack one by one, just to give you the illusion of having a fighting chance. Oh, son of a bitch! Dude, what? Oh my gosh, man. Fucking embarrassing! Are you shitting me? You fucking see me? Oh, fuck. Here, shh, 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 shh. Shut your filthy whore mouth. Kuchow. Kuchow. What enemy could possibly make more sense in a post-apocalyptic Russian wasteland than a giant bear? The bear would feed primarily on spawns, but lost explorers also happen to be on this beast's diet. The bear would take about a full clip to kill, and if you find the den of one of these monsters, there will be some hidden treasures waiting for you there. Oh, that baby's locked and loaded, dude. She's fucking filled to the brim. Don't take that the wrong way. I know it sounded weird, but I meant filled to the brim with ammunition. Ah, yes, you see now. I was not trying to be dirty, okay? Maybe a little bit. Holy fuck. Welcome to the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> this next one is an idea that popped into my head while I was playing the 2.4 update last week. I would like to see a spawn queen. This massive spider would camp out in the treetops of forests waiting for an unsuspecting explorer to walk by to get the drop on. Or she would be at the heart of a spawn nest, easily discovered by following the long black webbing attached to trees and rocks nearby. The spawn queen would be about four times bigger than your average spawn, it will move more slowly, and it will take multiple magazines to kill. So come prepared. Oh, f I don't even have any health, I just realized. I make such bad decisions, why? Holy shit. Did my brain just like short circuit or something? What the f was that? Just when I thought I've been up every fucking ladder in this game, I find another one? I personally love to shoot things out of the sky whenever I play VR games. I could stand around in Skyrim VR and shoot birds out of the air with a bow and arrow for hours, which leads me to this next enemy, a falcon. You will frequently see these big birds carrying spawn through the air to bring back to their nests. Be careful when you go looting in the open though. These birds love to swoop down and inflict damage upon unsuspecting explorers. They do have low health, so you can expect to be able to one-shot these birds. That is if you can hit them. I wish I knew, I wish I knew you wanted me. I wish I p p p p knew p p p you wanted me. Oh my god. Let's be honest, that was pretty fucking 
sick, my lord. I love tomato soup. <laughs> <laughs> Completely disregard the fact that I snorted just now, dude. Yeah. Excuse me, sir! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make sure these suckers don't see me. Last but not least, I think it would be awesome to get a giant snake or alligator. These reptilian predators would hide in the swampy areas of the radius waiting for an explorer to wander into the water. The snake and alligator will be slower enemies, however, the snake will have a very fast strike easily capable of closing long distances, similar to that of a spawn. This snake's initial bite inflicts minimal damage, but its venom will tick away at an explorer's health for roughly 30 30 seconds. Two bites from this serpent and you're a goner. The alligator will be slow, but its bite is powerful and fast. Any explorers unfortunate enough to be bitten by this creature will instantly be killed. <laughs> the maws and the jaw looks so good, dude. I cannot overstate how good of a job the dude who 3D modeled and textured this f***ing thing did. Look at all these scratches, look at the dust. There's a little bit of dust on there, and just a teensy bit. Look at this. Even the paint, all right, is lighter inside of the scratch. You see that? F me, dude. And the gold. Oh, the gold accents. Holy shit. So good. <sighs> this game is an absolute treat every time I play it. I would really like to see the devs implement more wildlife enemies into the game. I think that they could play around a lot with the sounds of these animals and make them particularly terrifying. Anyways, that is the end of the video y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have any suggestions for new enemies, leave it in the comments because I would love to hear about everyone's ideas. Enjoy the rest of your weekend my friends and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! Oh hello little girl. <laughs> would you like to hear a secret? Ugh. Society doesn't give a f about you. <laughs> Where did my chill go? Are we all at a chill tonight? <laughs> I think so.